embattled assistant commissioner of police Calvin Brutus, his pregnant wife Adnick Alder, a police sergeant, and a businessman were brought before the Georgetown Magistrates Courts on Thursday when they faced numerous charges related to serious financial crimes and other offenses. The quartet was arraigned before acting Chief Magistrate Fate McGusty on charges stemming from an investigation by the Special Organized Crime Unit of the Diana Police Force. In court, Brutus, 44, an attorney at law with 25 years of service in the police police force faced 30 charges, including money laundering, obtaining money by false pretense, misconduct in public office, liability of officials, and larceny by public official. Adnick Alder, Brutus, along with his former driver, police sergeant Kevin George and businessman Asif Zafferali, 34, from Garden of Eden, East Bank Demerara, is accused of obtaining money by false pretense. It is alleged that on June 29th and July 9, 2024, with intent to defraud, they conspired along with each other to uplift $93.6 million from the Guyana Police Consumers Cooperative Society Limited for goods that were never delivered to the Co-Opus Society. They were each granted $500,000 bail for each of these two charges. Sergeant George is a 31-year-old father of two and has served as a police officer for 13 years. Money laundering. Brutus's pregnant wife, 25-year-old Adnick Alder, was charged separately with two counts of money laundering involving $352 million held in her company's account at Republic Bank. The allegations claim that in December 2023, she acquired, possessed, or used $352,082,315 from her company's bank account at Republic Bank. Knowing or having reasonable grounds to believe that the funds were wholly or partially derived, directly or indirectly, from the proceeds of a crime. She was granted $1 million bail for these charges. The two money laundering charges against her husband involved $105 million related to payments he made for properties in Powderoyan, West Bank Demerara and Albert Town, Georgetown. He was granted $500,000 bail for each charge. Meanwhile, businessman Zafferly faced two counts of money laundering. It is alleged that between July 10 and August 15, 2024, at the Guyana Bank for Trade and Industry in Providence, EBD, he possessed, acquired, and used $93.6 million from his company's bank account, knowing or having reasonable grounds to believe that the funds were wholly or partially derived directly or indirectly, from the proceeds of a crime. Police Sergeant Kevin George Misconduct in Public Office Brutus was read four counts of misconduct in public office. One charge stated that on January 11, 2024, while serving as Deputy Commissioner, he willfully misconducted himself by instructing the police finance officer to issue checks totaling $13,670,204 from the Police Force Central Welfare Account at Republic Bank for Goods that he knew were never supplied or delivered, without any justification. Another charge claimed that Brutus directed an inspector from the Diana Police Consumers Cooperative Society Limited to prepare and encash a check in her name for $60 million from GPCCSL's current account at Republic Bank. This amount was intended for repairs and maintenance of police infrastructure, and he allegedly took possession of the funds knowing that the repairs had not been completed and without justification. A further charge stated that he instructed the same inspector to prepare and encash a check in her name for $20 million from GPCCSL's current account at Republic Bank to purchase supplies for the quartermaster stores, despite knowing that the items were neither supplied nor delivered, and without any valid reason. The fourth charge alleged that Brutus caused the police finance officer to submit 221 payment vouchers related to two companies registered in his wife's name, which he failed to return to the police finance office. Brutus was granted bail in the amount of $300,000 for each of the four charges. Asif Zafar Lee, larceny by public officer, liability of officials. Additionally, Brutus faced two charges of larceny by a public officer, with allegations stating that between November 16 and November 29, 2023, at police headquarters, he stole $80 million belonging to the GPCCSL. He was granted $1 million bail for these charges. Furthermore, Brutus has been charged separately with 20 counts of liability of officials under the Fiscal Management and Accountability Act. The charges indicated that on various dates in 2023, while serving as Deputy Commissioner, he facilitated the opportunity for his wife to defraud the state of some $3,999,840 through her businesses. The senior policeman was granted $100,000 bail for each of the 20 charges. 
The prosecutor noted that this marks the first time an offense of this nature is being prosecuted in Diana. Bail conditions. The four accused, each represented by attorneys, were not required to enter a plea to the indictable charges. Bail for Brutus was set at a total of $6.2 million, while his wife, Sergeant George, and businessman Zafferly were granted $1 million, $1 million, and $2 million bail, respectively. The accused are required to report to the police regularly and have surrendered their passports as part of their bail conditions. The businessman was represented by attorneys Glenn Hanuman and Everton Singh Lamy. Brutus and his wife are being represented by a team of attorneys, including Earl Daniels, Yuzi Anderson, Euborn Alicock, Renee Marcus, Cassid Nurse, and Dominic Bess, who all also appeared on Sergeant George's behalf. The money laundering charges against Zafferly have been transferred to the Diamond, Golden Grove Magistrates Courts for November 21, 2024. The other charges will be called again in the City Court on November 8, 2024, when more charges for the offense of liability of officials are expected to be read to ACP Brutus. A thorough investigation conducted by SOCU revealed that the case involved over $800 million. Of this amount, $300 million is associated with properties and other assets belonging to Brutus and his wife. Acting Chief Magistrate Faith Magusti the remaining $500 million has been frozen in several bank accounts belonging to Brutus, his wife, their businesses, and their four-year-old son. Charges were recommended for the accused persons by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. In connection with the investigations, Brutus has initiated a constitutional action against several entities, including the Police Service Commission, the Attorney General, the Police Commissioner, SOCU, and the Minister of Home Affairs. Last Friday, Justice Gino Prasad denied Brutus and his wife permission to travel to the USA for what they claimed was urgent medical treatment for the pregnant woman, citing the impending charges against them. The judge's decision was influenced by the serious nature of those charges.